pistachios. Oh, you know what? I'm getting me a drink. Ah, oh, yeah, I'll get a drink. Let's see here. A few moments later. What the? What happened to my pistachios? of Nutty Squirrels is all about collecting acorns and storing them in your burrow for points at the end of the game. So what I have here set up is a three-player game. So you will play, no matter the player count, you will play until you have, or one player has 20 points in their burrow, or once all the branches have been revealed, whoever has the most points at the end of the game. So each player will get a player board that will match the color of their squirrel. And then each of the branches will have five on there and they're seeded with some acorns according to the instructions. You also get a player aid. And then there, um, any additional cards will be placed off onto the side. So let's explain the player board here first. So as you're traversing all of the branches, you'll be collecting acorns. Well, you have two spaces in your cheeks that you can carry an acorn each. When you make your way back to the trunk of the acorn, you can go ahead and you can place acorns into your nest for free. Then, for action points, you can move them into your burrow, and anything in your burrow is what will score you points at the end of the game. So how does the game work? So each player gets three action points that they can use on their turn. Using an action point would be to move to one card off of uh, the main branch or to another card. You could spend an action point to flip a card. And then it does cost action points to move them from your nest to your burrow, which you can only do when you're on this center board. So let's just start off with the red player. So for one action point, I'm going to go ahead and move to this first branch right there. And then as an action, I'm going to go ahead and flip that and see what is on the other side of it. So you'll flip it over and you will see what is on there. So for example, this one has three acorns on there. So we will go ahead and place three acorns on that card. And I'll place my squirrel back on there. Now it's free to pick up acorns as long as you have space to hold them. So I can go ahead and pick up two acorns and I can place them right there in my cheeks. So that was only two actions. Then I can go ahead and I can go back to the trunk of the tree. And then I can go ahead and store those into my nest for free. And that would be the end of my turn. Now there are different types of things that can happen when you're out on the uh, branches of the tree. So for example, if we go here with the black squirrel, so for one action point we'll go there, for another we're going to flip that over, and oh no, that is a snapped branch. So what that means is the black squirrel falls to the ground, they go back to the home space, if they had had any um, acorns in their cheeks, they would drop those, unfortunately. And then they go back to the middle, and that ends their turn. Now, you can still go across a broken branch. It just kept cost two action points to do so. So let's just say the white squirrel is, is a little brave right there. So they're going to go, they're going to spend two action points to go to the that branch right there, and they're going to do one more to go one more ahead. Well, that's all they can do. There's nothing else they can do. They can't flip that over because they don't have any more action points left over. But let's just say on a future turn, it's their turn again, and they want to flip that over, and it is another snapped branch. All the same things apply. 
you go back to the trunk. Lose any uh, acorns you may have in your cheeks, but unfortunately because you have two branches next to each other, everything beyond that, now go ahead and get discarded, including any acorns that are already on the cards. So those go out of play, and that, that branch is now broken. Something else that could happen, say the red player, you know, comes here for one action, goes ahead and picks that up, places that into their cheeks. Action two to go here, and then action three to flip that over, and that is a golden acorn. Now a golden acorn is worth five points instead of the normal one that the brown acorns are worth. So, of course, they're going to go ahead and pick that up because they have one in their cheek already. They're going to go ahead and pick that one up. But that was, those were those three actions, so they have nothing else that they can do. So, let's have the black player. They're going to go one, two, three. And let's just say that they had... Now, let's just say that we come back around to the other player, and they're going to spend one action point now to flip this card over. And this is one of the ability cards that you can get in the game. So for example, this one is the Sugar Rush card. So this one will allow you to get one extra action point per turn. So that is very convenient. On your board, you have three action slots. So you can go ahead and pick up that action card. If I can pick that up here. Actually, this is the black player. I should be using their board here. So they'll go ahead and place that into their um, action slot there. And as long as you have a, a unique card you can put them, you can have up to three in there. You can go ahead and throw one away and pick up a different one if there's something else that uh, comes out and you don't have an available slot for. But you could do that. So then all of the branches would shift down and then we'd pick up a new branch card and place it out there to fill that back out. So then you will continue scurrying around and trying to collect all the different acorns and trying to score as many points as you can. Now one thing you can do is if you ever have five brown acorns in your nest, you can for one action point go ahead and convert all five of those into one golden acorn. It's a good idea to do that because it costs one action point per acorn that you're moving into your burrow. So this will only costs one action point, whereas moving those five would cost five total to do so. So we could move both of those down for two action points and boom, this player already has 10 points towards the end of the game. So there are lots of different action cards that you could come across here. So, for example, there is Sticky Fingers. So with this action card, you will have three slots available. So if you go next to a player, if you're on the same card as them, you can steal something from their cheeks. Or if you're on the center of the board and they're not there, you can steal from their nest, which is the center spot on the player board. Now, once you have three on here, all of them are immediately scored. They go into your burrow and you go ahead and get rid of this card. There is the Flying Squirrel card. So what that will allow you to do, that will allow you to go um, around the board clockwise or counterclockwise instead of going up and down the branches. So for example, if the red player had this Flying Squirrel card, they could go from this branch over here to over here as one action point. You can't, however, go to a broken branch. And then you just be able to move around. It gives you a little bit more movement in the game. We have the backpack card. So the backpack card gives you one more space of um, holding as you're running around. So you have your two uh, cheek slots. And then this will give you an extra slot to hold stuff in. This still can be stolen using the Sticky Fingers card. Ah, swinging Squirrel. That's what this one is called. So this one will allow you to go back and forth between broken branches with no additional cost. So normally, if you're on a broken branch, it costs two to go onto that card. This one will allow you to go there for just one action point. However, you still can't go 
further if there's, if there's no more uh, parts of the tree there, but that gives you some movement as well. And then there is one card here. You have the Owl card. Now the Owl card is the most powerful card in the game, but there's only one of them in the deck, and it can only be used once. So with the Owl card, you can go ahead and scare off a player off of the branch that you're currently on. So if the red player had this card, they could scare the black squirrel back to the uh, middle, and they would drop anything that they have. It's the same thing as going onto a broken branch. You can also, if you're in the center, you can scare away somebody from any branch that you wish, or you can even use the Owl card to go ahead and discard somebody else's power. So if, say, they had the Sticky Fingers card, you could use the Owl to get rid of it. But this is a one-time use card. But again, you'll play till either all of the branches have been revealed, and then whoever has the most points wins, or if some, one of the players manages to get 20 points in their burrow, they are declared the winner of Nutty Squirrels. Punchboard Media, where we all bring something to the table. Pull up a chair at punchboardmedia.com. So that is Nutty Squirrels. This is a pretty fun and quick game. I, I really enjoyed it. I did mention when Will and I were playing that it felt very thematic because you're running around the branches just like the squirrels tend to do. So you're, you're running around and trying to like, you get you get a few of the acorns and you gotta run back and store them. And you go back up the branch and you can collect and try to figure out some more stuff then run back. So it's like a, almost feels like a, a, a frenetic pace, but it's not overbearing or anything like that. You just feel the, 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 the speed of the squirrels, even though you can take your time, you can be like, oh, I'm going to go two, then we'll go here, then we'll go here. But you can see the, the thematic nature of the squirrels running back and forth and, and storing everything and going to collect more. And then possibly seeing another squirrel feels like, oh, there's more there and kind of pouncing over each other and just running and running around. But this is definitely a really fun game. Uh, I would say this would be a great, great family game. And also be even great for just regular adults and everything. So this is something that I would definitely recommend that you check out. I'm going to have a link down below for when their campaign goes live. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please not forget to like, share, subscribe, and help support Cloak and Meeple. Down below you can find a link to buy some t-shirts or even a nice hoodie. As you see, I have the one right here with the zip up. Or Will was wearing one earlier that is just a pullover but there's lots of cool stuff that you can find on my new merch website. And as always, thanks for watching.